Hey guys, Trent with Copter Kids. Wanted to quickly talk about charging setups and some uh, recent updates we've had and done. Uh, basically, this is our standard charging box from Rotorcraft RC. They build a really nice box because it has everything you could need inside of it. We previously used to build our own boxes, but once they started doing them better, uh, we went that route. Um, the beauty of this thing, super compact, fits all our cables in. We can charge four sets down here, two additional sets if we'd like on the lid, and two sets of Moby Pro batteries. Um, the only downside is, when we're shooting something like a car commercial, we're moving location to location, we end up doing a lot of pulling the generator out, opening the box, plugging everything in, start charging, and then right after we start charging, which takes about five minutes, uh, either the director or assistant director says, all right, we're moving, next location, which brought us to the next thing how to get onboard charging on the truck that we can actually charge while we're moving. Now the hard part is, I knew that I couldn't just charge up a car battery. Anyone that's been around these drones know that they have such a high output that I would drain a car battery in you know, less than one charge for our big packs. So it needed to be something that ran off the alternator. So what I've done is basically, I have added what's called a Lear Locker in the truck. So this is built by Lear to go in the camper shell, fits flush up against the top, can hold 120 pounds. Had my friends at Rotorcraft, mainly Joe, um, design me and build me the charging apparatus, which has four iCharger 406 duos, or sorry, two, gives us four battery outputs, which all can be latched down for secure, uh, or secured down for driving. Got two Movi Pro chargers, uh, V-Lock charger, and a 2000 watt power inverter that gives us our, uh, AC out in the back as well as the front. So I have some to, to run in the storage bay as well as some for exterior. And basically this whole thing's ran off of a 300 amp relay, which is on this switch, which turns the power on to the master. Uh, I got AC power here, which powers up the inverter, both Movi Pro chargers and the V-Lock. I got USB power, which charges the four USB outs. I've got charge area lighting, as well as lighting for both storage areas. And wiring this on its own was quite the ordeal. Basically, it's uh, we're running a 370 amp alternator with a zero gauge wire into a 250 amp breaker that I can shut off if anyone's working on the truck. That comes back into a breakout, uh, power, sorry, uh, yeah, a distribution block running in dual four gauge. And if you look over here, basically what we've got is a cable chain or a cable carrier. And that's why I had to go from zero gauge to four. And that's what allows it to go in and out without binding, which is pretty cool. So overall, it can handle charging. The, the truck at idle burns 0.33 gallons an hour. So about a third of a gallon an hour, I can idle for three hours on one gallon. That's just as efficient as a 2000 watt generator, which is perfect. And again, we can get it going. Turn everything on, everything's up and running, put it away, store it while it's going, and drive away. And one little last thing I added, I added uh, lights for the interior as well as the work area. So we've got work lights, which basically when you're out here, it lights it up like daylight, you can see everything you're working on. Obviously with the bed slide, your whole workstation is completely out. Work like a gentleman instead of getting on the ground working on things. Last little thing, of course, you got onboard air if you want to blow off lenses, any of that stuff. So, our uh, copter support vehicle, CSV, has turned into a pretty comfortable and versatile uh, truck.